Morning everybody, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good myself because today we are once again taking a look at the amazing Lucas. Now, it's been almost a month since we last covered Lucas, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that to me. To me, it feels like we cover him every three days. I wonder why that is, but anyway. <laughs> today we are talking about him and his desperate attempt to damage control the fact that he was one of the people who took part in the harassment campaign against the God of War developers back before we knew any information about it. He also tries to claim that he's not a Sony fanboy or anything like that, and a little spoiler alert here, but eventually in the video he tries to say that he is the boss of all the developers who work at Sony. Yeah, th this guy's definitely perfectly stable-minded. But anyway, guys, we're not going to keep this intro any longer. The video we're looking at is like 16 minutes long, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, you already know I'm gonna get the most expensive edition that they have. I'm gonna get the most expensive edition that they have. I don't know, I haven't even looked at it. Now keep in mind, this man quite literally just said that he's gonna get the most expensive version of the collector's edition for God of War Ragnarok, and he hasn't even looked at it yet. But for the rest of this video, he's gonna try to claim he's not a fanboy. J just keep this clip in mind. I saw that it uh, had a, uh, I, I see a, saw a glance that it's a hammer. What the, f do we have a hammer? What I'm thinking, you wanna know what I think? I think actually, I think that uh, the figurine is not actually a hammer. That's what I think. Apparently now Lucas is a conspiracy theorist and he just lied because remember he just said that he didn't look at the collector's edition and now all of a sudden he did look at the collector's edition. This video is off to a fantastic start. But on top of that, like what even makes you think that this hammer is just like a lie? Like why would they lie about it? That's false advertising. They cannot do that. Why would they advertise something and then swap it out with something else in the collector's edition? Once again, false advertising, which is illegal. I think the figurine is probably better than a hammer, but they can't, but it's a but it's a leak. It'll leak a, a story, a, you know, a plot point in the game. Cuz remember when they did that with Spider-Man? Well, the difference between this situation and the Spider-Man situation is that they never actually revealed what the Spider-Man figure was going to be until a little before the game release. Right here, they already revealed what it's going to be. They can't just switch it up because for the 50 millionth time, that would be false advertising. They cannot do that. But sure, get your hopes up if you want to. The figurine that they had, they're like, hey, we, have, we can't show it really because it's going to, you know, leak a plot point in the game. I think what they've done instead is that they've shown a hammer, right? <coughs> because they can't show the actual uh, the actual figurine. Well, if they couldn't show the actual figurine and wanted to keep it a secret until later, why wouldn't they just, you know, not show anything and do what they did with Spider-Man, where they said, hey, we're not going to show this until a little later because it leaks a plot point. This video just reeks of conspiracy theorism. That's what I would, that's what I think. Cause that hammer look goofy as that there's no way you go from uh if we're gonna be honest there's no way you go from uh this look at that look at that shit look at that boy look at that sh bruh I mean, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but personally, I'd actually take the hammer over the little figurine of Kratos and Atreus. In my opinion, it just looks cooler, but hey, maybe that's just me. There's no way you go from this to a motherfucking hammer. That's not how that works, bruh. I'm just letting you know. Well, apparently Sony would have to disagree with you, given that, you know, it's gonna be coming with a hammer. You can cope and seethe all you want, Lucas, but that doesn't change anything. You don't go from this to a fucking hammer, all right? That is not how you do it, okay? Anybody trying to talk about a fucking hammer? Oh, it's Thor's hammer. I don't give a fuck whose hammer it is. Bitch. Unless Thor, unless that nigga autographed it himself, that is not. That's called a downgrade. You don't go from this to a fucking hammer, pimpin. All right, so that's what I'm praying. I'm praying, okay? So you want Thor himself to autograph the hammer for it to be worth it, but you're perfectly okay with a non-autographed version 
of a statue of Atreus and Kratos. Like, what is this dude even talking about? I think he's coping even harder right here than when, you know, Spider-Man was coming to PC. I'm praying that they're holding out when it comes to the figurine. Xbox were so upset, they were crying, bruh. They've been trying to message me, bruh. Brad blocked so many people today, it's been insane. So many fucking kids. Listen, if you still got your mom's titties, milk breath on you, bruh, please stop messaging me with this stupid corny shit, bruh. Imagine crying about getting DMs from people who you say still have their mom's milk breath on. Jesus Christ. I tried to say that with a straight face, guys. I'm serious. I tried. What even is this channel, dude? Chris, it, Chris, if you're watching this, come on, dude. We gotta watch this on stream at some point. Come on, man. I know you want to. I know I want to. Please, this would be such a fun stream. But in all seriousness, imagine harassing the God of War developers and then throwing a fit when you get backlash over it. Like, Jesus Christ. Please. That's all I ask. All these kids. First off, I gotta do another video. What the fuck is going on with the gaming community? Y'all act like a bunch of bitches. Like a bunch of limp-wristed bitches, bro. I don't get what this is. That's right, guys. If you DM this dude saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't be harassing the God of War developers, you're just a filthy liberal and you need to be blocked immediately. I'm used to a gaming community where they'd be like, yo, I miss you, know, you said Twisted Metal. Niggas who would play that. Now you niggas are playing Paw Patrol and shit. Talking about, well, Lucas, why can't we all just have fun? Why can't we all just play games? Why can't we all just enjoy? What the fuck is this shit? That's right, guys. If you enjoy games that Lucas doesn't and you just are making the argument, hey, why can't we just have fun, enjoy what we enjoy, and all agree to get along, you know, Lucas will come at you with, what the hell is this? Because apparently Lucas is such a pathetic human being that he cannot comprehend the idea that people might like something that he doesn't. Or maybe, you know, the fact that people might have fun with something he doesn't. I come from a different age when men were men. Okay, not this f***ing soy boy milk or let's get along, no. Okay, PlayStation was in competition with Xbox and it was good. Competition breeds excellence. That's right guys, only real men hate other people based on which platform they play on or based on which video games they enjoy. How can you call yourself a real man if you don't enjoy God of War? How can you call yourself a real man if you enjoy Halo or Gears of War or Forza, one of those games? Those are just those filthy Xbox games. But in all seriousness, I find it so funny that he's saying, oh, we love competition, competition breeds excellence. When, you know, anytime Microsoft makes a good move against Sony, that could be seen as good competition. He and other Sony fanboys throw a fit over it. Now we have, you know, girly men talking about, you know, my pronouns. No, very bad. Very bad for country. Okay, you have pronouns in bio. Please do not at me. Okay, don't at me if you have pronouns in bio. Very pain, pain on him a lot from these ex bussy warriors, these ex bussy people talking about. Oh, why you harass developers? Harass developers? What? What do you talk about? What do you mean harass developers? These motherfuckers trying to say that I was, I was advocating for harassing developers. I was like, how the f did y'all come up with that conclusion? These mofo's put out a tweet, right? I put out a tweet and they try to quote tweet me because the tweet was a uh, Corey Barlog and I really don't give a f about Corey Barlog. All right. I think to be honest with you, people who say God of War 1 was a masterpiece. No, I don't believe that. Yeah, Lucas, I wouldn't say necessarily you were advocating for the harassment of developers. It was more like you were taking part in the harassment yourself. And he'll show the screenshot of the tweet here in a second. But I call complete cap that you don't think God of War 1 was an absolute masterpiece. Because in almost every single previous video I've made on you, you've been talking about how great the game is. How Xbox players wish they could have that greatness. How PC peasants were waiting four years for that game because they didn't want to buy a PlayStation for it. And remember that whole video you did back in what was it, December or January, where you were saying that God of War and PlayStation PC ports were dumb? 
So, yeah, I kind of call Cap on the fact that you don't think that game was a masterpiece. All right. I believe him having a kid with his head. I do not believe. Let me just put this out here. For people who want to say t Sony Pony and all that sh No. I don't believe God of War uh, on the PS5 was anything special. Just to be honest with you. Once again, your history tells a different story. Also, remember at the beginning of the video when I said to keep in mind the fact that he said he was going to buy the collector's edition even though he hadn't seen it yet? And now he's trying to say he's not a Sony pony. Yeah, okay, sure, bro. Cope and seethe all you want. All that one cut, that shit is gimmicky. What the fuck is that? Why do I give a fuck about one cut? I think the story was utter fucking shit. Dribble. The story that they should have played, should have told us, they didn't. And that's the story of how Kratos met this fucking woman, right? And then ends up having a child by this woman. That's the story they should have told us. And in the sequel, we get to have, we then get to experience the king with us. But, so, I really don't give a fuck what Cory Barlock says to begin with. Alright? I think the nigga's balls fell off. Alright? I mean, I find it kind of ironic that you're saying you don't care what he has to say when you just went into this whole rant where, you know, you're crying about how he didn't tell the story that you wanted him to tell. And I'm not trying to spoil the tweet, but when he shows it, you guys will absolutely see why people were flaming him for it. Because it sure doesn't really match up with Lucas's whole description of, oh, I don't care what he has to say. <laughs> A W for PlayStation is always an L for Xbox because they stay just with L's. And then I've managed, you know, to, to garner the scorn of the PC fucking incels, the PC peasants. Lord. Just keep in mind, I sped that whole rant he had right there up by five. 100% and it was still 10 seconds long good lord you you guys do the math on that one but yeah I just skipped it because it was basically just this whole spiel on how he didn't like bosses in God of War 2018 and stuff I guess trying to prove that he's not a Sony fanboy by you know saying he doesn't like something but I just love how you know he goes through this whole spiel about how much worse God of War 2018 is than the original God of Wars and then immediately says that that's somehow a W for PlayStation that their games have gotten worse over time and it's an L for Xbox and PC and yet he claims to not be a Sony pony these fucking PC peasants fucking blowing up my fucking mention blowing them up oh we're gonna get it we can't wait to the PC port bitch you are gonna wait four years for a game nigga I won't even wait 15 minutes for my bitch yeah, a lot of people are willing to wait four plus years for a game, clearly, you know, as we've seen with, what, God of War 2018, in the case of Spider-Man, we were willing to wait five years, and Lucas, like, nice trying to cope there, but it's not going to be four years before Ragnarok comes to PC. I give it a max of two years before that game is on PC. Nice coping, bro. Do you think I'm waiting four years to play a game? You niggas is sad, sad, sad. F***ing sad. What is going on in PC world, bruh? Y'all niggas really got nothing to play that you excited for a PC port four years from now? I mean, I guess I could ask you guys the same thing. Do you really have so little to play that you're hyping up games like Wolverine and Spider-Man 2? Games which won't be coming out until, in the case of Spider-Man, 2023 at the earliest. And in the case of Wolverine, probably not till like 2024 or 25. So yeah, once again, could kind of ask you the same thing. Nigga, get your sh** together. I know the world of Warcraft and League of Legends must be boring as 2080, you got going on. Liquid cooling system to play f***ing Minecraft. Like, nigga, get the f*** out of my face. I don't even want to talk to you PC f***ing peasants. So apparently, guys, if you have a cooling system in your PC and you enjoy playing Minecraft instead of God of War, Lucas doesn't even want to talk to you, even though, you know, he's been talking to us this whole time. And they're not even PC elites. Here's what people have. They have you thinking that PC is elite gaming. These niggas is the most broke motherfuckers on the planet, bruh. These niggas is making their PCs just to save parts, just to save money. Just nigga, I just... Like, can I use this, Lucas? Can I use this? What the fuck do you want this for? I can use this as, like, to boost the CPU or some sh I can just cut it off. Always got lights all over the fucking place. Nigga, what the fuck is lights doing? 
That's right, guys. You know, if you game on PC, you're just automatically broke. Forget the fact that, you know, a 3090 retails for three times the price of a PS5. You know, Lucas is absolutely right. We're all just a bunch of PC peasants and we're broke. Also, I like how you're talking smack to PC players who, you know, like to build their own PCs to save money on parts because that's what I did. When, you know, a lot of console players as well, they will, you know, buy the digital version of a console to save money on it but putting that argument aside like why does it matter whether someone wants to save money or not like does that change their opinion does that change like how you look at them as a person if they want to save money on a gaming device like really dude is this what keeps you up at night you got more lights than you have in pc i was saying that hey it's real simple uh give us what you give us what we want all right, give us what we want, and there won't be any problems. Capiche? And we finally arrived at the tweet. And you know what, guys? Lucas is just so right. Like, how could this be perceived as harassing the developers or as being a threat? You know, saying, give us what we want and there won't be a problem. You know, that's just such a nice thing for Lucas to say. Like, you know what? Lucas is truly a saint out here. He's just demanding that developers give him everything they want. And if they don't, there's going to be a serious problem, whatever that could possibly mean. But in all seriousness, like, could you imagine? being this stupid you put out a tweet literally threatening developers saying hey if, give me what i want or there's gonna be a problem and now you're confused as to why people are mad at you for it like good god you lucas is officially the dumbest playstation fanboy ever and these fucking milk breath fucking in fucking incels Oh, you're, you're promoting harassment of the developers. You're promoting harassment of the developers. Da, da, da. I'm like, what the f*** are you talking about? I'm promoting harassment of the developers. Well, Lucas, it's really quite simple. People were harassing the developers. Now you have joined in on the harassment. Therefore, you are saying it is okay to harass them. This guy is actually insane. Here's what niggas clearly don't understand. This is why I say this new era of gaming people and incels and and fanooks all right thank you to sopranos for giving me that one and i'm not really about it bro i'm not really about it okay that's right guys nothing screams incel like wanting someone to stop harassing someone else this is actually starting to give me a headache at this point imagine arguing that someone is an incel because they don't want you harassing someone else lucas you do realize that incels are the ones who always harass other people right like you do realize this so if you yourself don't like incels you might want to take a look in that mirror everything everything's so sensitive these niggas is so sensitive bro so sensitive I told one, one guy said some stupid shit. I said, your mom sucks my balls. Oh, oh, real professional. Nigga, what the fuck you, I'm not running for Congress. What the fuck are you talking about, real professional? Please don't fucking talk to me about some stupid shit about harassment. <laughs> You're harassing the developers. Listen, fuck these developers. That's right, guys. If you don't want someone to be harassed, you're just being soft. Also, according to Lucas, screw the developers. That's definitely something that someone who isn't harassing them would say. Let me just put that out there. These motherfuckers. They work for me, bitch. They work for motherfucking me. Don't you ever get that shit twisted. I don't know what the fuck it is, you motherfuckers going out there, you consumers, jerking off developers. Bitch, what? They need to be jerking me off. I think this guy is actually insane at this point. Now he's trying to say the developers work for him. Dude, that's not how it works at all. It's not like your tax money is going towards paying the developers. If that was the case, then sure, maybe you could argue that. But you know what? He's about to make his argument in a second. I'm going to save my argument for that. I keep them in business. They produce good sh I reward them for, them for it. That's how this dynamic works. When you harassing developers, they have families of crunch time. Bitch, if you don't like crunch time, then fucking leave your goddamn job. 
That's right, guys. It's really just that simple. If you hate your job, just leave it. Forget the fact that, you know, you have to find another one. Forget the fact you might have to move to another state, country, whatever, to be able to work there. Forget the fact that no other places may have any openings available. You know, just find another job. Come on, you babies. It's not that big of a deal. In all seriousness, though, this guy is the most ignorant, insane fanboy I think I've ever seen. Anybody who's ever been a part of the gaming community or any type of game development knows you're going to face crunch time. Because guess what? You have milestones to hit and deadlines to, 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 to reach. All right? If you, if it's, get your ass out of here. I'm tired of this bitch made fucking goddamn bullshit from these developers. Always bitching and crying. Bitch, find another fucking profession then. What, what fucking industry do you think you're not going to face some difficulty or some challenge? You should be sucking our dick for giving you feedback, you stupid mother. That's right, guys. These developers should really just be doing, you know, what he just said. For having the privilege of taking our feedback. Guys, they have the privilege of just, you know, being able to sit on Twitter and watch people like Lucas harass them constantly because they're not getting the game out when everybody else wants them to. But in all seriousness, like, Lucas, how stupid can you be? So apparently, according to Lucas, because in every profession, you're gonna face some challenges, that means you should just be okay with being openly harassed and threatened on Twitter. Y yeah, that makes perfect sense. Who the f who do you think tests your games? Huh? Who do you think tests your games and gives you feedback? Hey, there's a bug here. Hey, this isn't working here. Well, since you asked, it's actually the QA testers who do that. All right, we made you motherfuckers. When it comes to Santa Monica, uh, uh, we made you bitches. All right, we fucking made you niggas. All right, we kept you pushing yourself to the limit. Yeah, and do you know why people helped them get to that point and, you know, gave them money? It's because they made a good product. They gave you a product that you enjoyed, that you thought was worth money, so you gave them money. Sounds like everything is perfectly even at the end of the day, so I don't really know what your problem is here. You came out with one game, we were like, all right, good, but you can do better. They were like, you know what? We sure fucking can. Let's push it again. Came out with another game. We were like, this shit is fire, but you can do better. They were like, you know what? They right. There are ways we can tweak this and make this better. Came out. That's how the fucking process works, you stupid fucking children. Yeah, but it doesn't go, oh, they announce a product, they don't give the release date for a while, you get all pissed off about it and start acting like a child and harassing them over Twitter. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember that part ever being in your little explanation of how things work. Sounds like you need to stick by your own rules, Lucas. I'm tired of you fucking under 25 stupid little kids talking about New York Resident Developers, they got families too. Bitch, we all got families. What the you talking about nigga well you heard him guys apparently if you're 24 or under then you're just not allowed to have an opinion on this matter feels bad man i guess i'm just six years off but imagine saying that it's okay to harass a developer and their family because you also have a family like how does that even work just because i have two hands doesn't mean it's okay for me to go cut somebody else's hand off but you have a job to do do the job put in the fucking work all right the fuck you talking about developers if me saying i don't give a fuck about what you have to do to complete the game is harassing the developers then you're fucking brain dead you're a fucking retard with no life experience well, Lucas, that's not what you said. What you said is, give us what we want and there won't be a problem. Kind of sounds like a threat to me, not gonna lie. But sorry, guys, I forgot. We're brain dead for thinking that. Is this what y'all producing in schools nowadays? Stop harassing me. I'm in a safe space. I'm sorry. Did I not buy this? Huh? Did I not buy the game? Did I not buy the PS5? Do I just get no say-so? Is that what y'all think? I just bend over for 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 Sony. Is that what it is? I I bend over for Santa Monica. I bend over for for for, for Insomniac. That's what it is. Well, based on the previous videos that you've made on the console wars, yeah, I would say that's a pretty reasonable deduction to draw. Also, imagine saying it's okay to harass developers because you bought something from them. Like Jesus Christ. Is that how you think this dynamic works, you stupid? No, nigga. 
upon me purchasing this, I got motherfucking demands. That's how that shit works. Upon me purchasing this shit, I got motherfucking demands. And if you want to keep a customer, then you need to listen to my motherfucking demands. Well, Lucas, luckily for them, you're going to be their customer no matter what because you're a PlayStation fanboy, so no matter what they do, no matter how much you hate it, you're going to keep buying the products anyway. You literally started off the video by saying you were going to get the most expensive edition of God of War Ragnarok, and you haven't even looked at it yet. Also, I think to say you had demands is putting it a bit lightly considering you were literally saying, give us what we want and there won't be any problems. Like, yeah, that's definitely what I would just call a demand. That's how you should be thinking as a consumer. Instead of trying to jerk them off because of all oh, the developers. Bitch, the developers work for you. You're a boss, whether you know it or not. And you pay with your money. Do you not? Do you not can pay? You're acting like every single person who owns a video game console donates a dollar a day to go into the developer's salary. That's not how it works, dude. The money we pay goes to the publisher, and then the publisher gives a portion of that to the developer in the form of a salary. Going back to what I said earlier, if your taxes were, like, directly going to their salary or something, then sure, you can make that argument, but no, your money does not go directly to the pocket of the developer. It goes to the publisher, and then the publisher gives a portion of that to the developer whether it's digital or physical copy is that do you not do that because i'm unaware are you niggas pirating ps5 games or some shit? is that what the fuck is going on i know the pc community does that that's why they can't wait for our games to reach their trash freaking uh uh, uh whatever it is their boxes bro they're freaking uh uh <laughs> their light display boxes so they can pirate them. So now apparently if you play on PC, all you want to do is pirate a game and you'll never actually buy one legitimately. Here's my question for you then, Lucas. If all these PC ports of PlayStation games were constantly getting pirated, Sony was making no money off of them, why do they keep porting their games to PC? Explain that one to me, bud. I don't pirate PS5 games. I bought every single one and I've supported every single quality developer. Sometimes, when a developer is so good, I don't even need to see gameplay. I support them because I know they've given me quality content time and time and time again. So he's not a Sony pony, but he'll literally give developers money even without seeing gameplay for a video game. Also, remember when he said screw the developers a little earlier? Well, apparently that's just gone now. Apparently he will literally support them without even watching gameplay, almost like he's a Sony pony. Now, upon, with this symbiotic relationship, you give me quality games, I give you my fucking money. There is criticism, all right? There is constructive criticism. That's how that shit works. Hey, I love the game, but this is what you can do in the sequel. This is how it could have been better. Well, that's not what you were doing, Lucas. What you were doing was going on Twitter and saying, hey, we're going to have a problem if you don't give us what we want. That doesn't sound like criticism. That sounds like a threat. This is what I didn't like the game. And as a developer, they take that criticism. They put it the bag in the and we're following the fucking cut. If you just want to suck the dick of developers, you're not going to get that. All you're going to get is your fucking cut in your mouth. Now some niggas are happy with that. That's fine. I'm not talking to you. All right, some niggas got to take your mouth. Why are you playing fucking CBs? I don't care. Do you. All right? But I'm not looking to jerk off a fucking developer. I'm looking for them to give me quality content that constantly gets better than the last product that they put out. Yeah, that's why you're going to buy the $250 collector's edition for God of War without even seeing it, right? God, this guy is stupid. Some of you niggas will never be anything because you, you're too scared to criticize. You're too scared to feel uncomfortable. I really don't give a f You put out a trash game, guess what? I don't buy it. It's that simple. Dude, the hypocrisy is just out of the window at this point. Because you admitted that you didn't like God of War 2018 that much, supposedly. I'm pretty sure, again, he's just lying about that to prove he's not a fanboy. But apparently, you don't like God of War 2018. 
yet you bought it for PS4 and PS5. All you do is brag about it in every single console fanboy video you ever make. And now you're going to buy the $250 collector's edition for God of War Ragnarok, which is the sequel to a game by your own admission you didn't like that much and you don't know if it's going to be any good or not. This guy is reaching quantum TV levels of hypocrisy. When it came, I don't know why you niggas get like amnesia or some because when it came to The Last of Us, what were niggas talking about? I'm not going to buy this. Look at how they disrespected Joel. And now these same niggas are talking about jerking off, talking about, oh, I can't wait for the remake. Bitch, why the f*** would you buy the remake, nigga? Hmm? Make that make sense. I think this is the one point I agree with him on. If you already own The Last of Us, either the PS3 or PS4 upgrade, then I really don't see the reason to buy this personally. Like, if it's the first time you're playing it, or if, you know, you're on PC and you want to play it over there, then I totally get it. But besides that, yeah, I kind of agree with him on that one. I really don't see a reason for why you would want to buy this again. But it, that's up to you at the end of the day. If you want to buy it again, then hey, go for it. Who am I to stop you? I genuinely do hope you enjoy playing through it. You mean the niggas who f***ed you with the sequel, you're going to give them money for a remake of the original product that you loved? Are you f***ing goofy in the head? Yeah, because, you know, The Last of Us Part 1 is actually good. Also, I find the hypocrisy incredible. He's saying the developers screwed people over with the sequel, so now he's wondering why people want to give them money for a better product. When, once again, remember earlier in the video, he was saying he didn't like God of War 2018 that much, but he's still going to give them $250 for the sequel to that game, which he doesn't even know if it's going to be good or not. At least with The Last of Us Part 1, people know it's going to be good because it's the same exact story again just with better graphics for all we know god of war ragnarok could be trash i'm not saying it will be i do have high hopes for the game but you never know until the game actually comes out but i'm not gonna play the rest of the video it's only like 30 more seconds and he's just going on the spiel again about how oh you're the boss of the developers speak with your wallets and he's just trying to be a hero basically but yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching basically what we learned today is it's okay to harass the developers because you have a family and so do they and therefore because you both have families it's okay to harass them and we also learned that apparently you know saying give us what we want and there won't be an issue that's not a threat and that's not harassment whatsoever at least according to lucas but anyway guys thank you so much for watching like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it subscribe if you want to see more and i will catch you all next time